Let's talk about the downtown healing garden, the remembrance wall. Ever since it was put in place, it has been a place where so many people find peace after the one October tragedy. It has been flourishing and growing over the past two years, and now it is undergoing another expansion. We have Bianca Holman live this morning at the downtown healing garden with details on this. Bianca. Good morning. A location to heal and to honor the victims of the 1 October attack. This healing garden is expanding. It used to be a parking lot, but now you can see the fencing is up and construction has begun on this expansion for the healing garden. The city of Las Vegas has begun work. It's on the a lot adjacent to the healing garden on garden on the corner of Coolidge and Casino Center Boulevard. The space will be a separate area where people can gather. There will be a welcome structure, a fire pit, a greenery covered walkway. It'll all be included here in this new addition. We had just that vacant land uh, or lot sitting adjacent to uh, the current healing garden. And then we've seen so many visitors come through um, to visit, uh, whether it be the victims on a special occasion for them or on October 1st, or just random tourists who want to come and check it out. A very special place for our city. Diaz also says that there will be a 9-11 memorial survivor tree that's going to be planted in the new addition. It's called a calorie pear tree because it survived the enduring the it survived the September 11th terror attacks at the World Trade Center. So now they send out seedlings to various cities that experience tragedies. And the city says that the new addition will be finished around the summertime. So they hope to open it up by that time coming up this year. Reporting live, Bianca Holman, 8 News Now.